All right, we just got done pruning on these two willow trees here. That one had quite a bit of dead wood in it. We're taking some weight off the branch tips. Small cuts, nothing too crazy in dead wood. Um, that's a pretty sizable cut right there. That was on the other side there. That was the other tree. But that's the biggest cut we took off. But you can see all the rest of them are all, you know, that's, you know, that's a lot of weight off a branch tip. But you're not hurting the tree any. And this is all the green we took off of both trees with the exception of that one branch over there. One branch over there. But I, that's not what I want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk to you guys about this cut right here. Actually, maybe these two cuts. I didn't look that second one over too well. But you can see that's almost clearly, almost certainly a homeowner special right there. The way it was kind of hacked up there. And this one he left the stub on. Probably because it was just easier for him to make a cut out further away from the trunk. But what did the tree do in response? The tree put out some new growth on the end of that branch. And it's going to keep that, that stub alive. And regrow and and yeah that's gonna be weakly jointed those branches aren't gonna last forever they can be pruned though but let me ask you a question this is not about science this is about common sense is this tree better off having whatever it is an eight nine ten inch wound uh, right on the trunk of the tree or leaving the stub allowing it to re-sprout and then around those sprouts it's just gonna put on a bunch of new wood and every, everywhere the sprouts come in and it's gonna get thick and 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 uh, and, and there's going to be new wood developing around this area, which is going to be weak as the decay slowly moves through the tree. But you bought it a bunch of years before the decay gets down into the tree. And to me, there's just no question that for the tree's benefit, you're better off having left the stub there, even though it was kind of a homeowner accidental stub, right? Now this one here is not nearly as big, but it's well over four inches, right? And it might have been cut in a little too close to the trunk, uh, as the homeowner was likely to do. But a tree guy could do it too. Now that's eventually that's just going to decay and start rotting right through the tree. I'm certainly glad these two aren't side by side where that rock can kind of join in the middle there. But let this let this one live, man. The stubs work; they are working. It's 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 the next logical step past shigo. They were flush cutting when shigo came along. He said, "No, no, don't flush cut. Let's make these target cuts so we don't break violate the branch." protection zone now it only makes sense to take to the next step and, and leave a stub let the tree re-sprout from the stub or give it time to seal off and, and not well not seal off but to to compartmentalize the decay build some new callus wood around the the the, the area that's going to be weak and uh and set its defenses up before that that decay starts moving right into the trunk of the tree that's my theory it's this is uh, kind of what's wrong with target pruning stubs are better especially on big wood.